Good evening, everyone. I'm making this video in conjunction with the video I made earlier about my 1976 Pontiac Firebird restoration project. In that video, I was telling you about how I was planning on using the 350 that the guy threw in with the car as the motor for it. I've been doing a little research on Pontiac engines, and I kind of determined the best cylinder head for my application was the 1968 number 17 Pontiac head. These were used primarily in the 350 two-barrel engines. And they were, according to Wallace Racing, about 9 to 1 compression ratio. Now, unfortunately, Wallace Racing doesn't list the CCs. And I kind of need to know what they were because I need to determine what my compression ratio is going to be on the car, which I want to try to keep it around 9 to 1. So I'm doing that right now, measuring the combustion chamber CCs. Using this data, how far the piston comes up to top dead center in the engine. Usually they're, on a production engine, they don't come up flush. They're using what is referred to as in the hole. So if you put a depth micrometer across your block and measure down to the top of your piston, usually there's anywhere from 20 to 40 thousandths. And by determining how far the piston comes up, the reliefs in the pistons that I have, the thickness of the cylinder head gasket, I can kind of determine what my compression ratio is going to be on the engine. Now to do this job, what you want to do is you want to get a piece of plexiglass. They make kits, or you can just buy a piece of plexiglass, and you drill a hole in it, use some grease. I'm actually using super lube. We can use Vaseline. Seal it to the head, put a spark plug in, and obviously both valves in. <laughs> and use liquid. I'm using a mixture of alcohol, water, and food coloring, and one of these droppers. Now this dropper is graduated in milliliters, which you can convert milliliters to cc's. They're one to one, so one milliliter equals one cc and you fill them up slowly till you get all the air out and it's flush with the bottom of the plexiglass but not running out the hole. And my advice is to keep a rec record of your measurement. My first draw was 60 cc's, second draw was 20, third was four, actually it was five but it ended up only getting four in there. And that gave me a combustion chamber cc of 84 which I kind of figured these were around 80, 85 cc's. There's going to be some variances. Um, one of the combustion chambers I measured already came out to 85. Another one came out to 86. I mean, these are production cylinder heads. They're not going to be perfect. But using this data, I can kind of figure out where I'm supposed to be for my combustion chamber cc's and my compression ratio overall. So, that's that fun little project. Um, I'll have further videos on this. You know, I'm going to be tearing down the engine here pretty soon. We'll pick a video on what we find there, and of course the car itself. But I'm hoping you like this video. Please like and subscribe if you do. And have a great night. Thank you.